six people wake up to find themselves on a self-driving bus that's going around and around a deserted tropical island. None of the six people have any memory of who they are or how they got there. This is the Erasure Initiative. The six people on the bus are asked to participate in a series of thought experiments that are basically the trolley problem. For those of you who don't know the trolley problem, it's this. You're in a trolley or a tram heading down a track. Ahead of you on the track are three people. The trolley will not stop and it will kill them. There's no brakes on the trolley, but there is a lever. And if you pull the lever, the trolley will divert onto a second track where there is one person. The question is, do you pull the lever? Do you kill one person instead of three? Do you involve yourself in that situation or do you stay neutral? That version of the trolley problem is fairly simple and the vast majority of people will choose to pull the lever and let one person die instead of three. However, what if we switch it up a little bit? What if instead of three people versus one person, what if the three people are all convicted murderers and the one person is a 25 year old pregnant woman? What do you do then? What if it's three cats versus three dogs? What if it is your 90 year old grandpa versus the last breeding pair of highly endangered white rhinos? What if it is a hundred strangers versus your best friend? The Erasure Initiative digs into all of these thorny ethical questions and asks the reader, what would you do? It also explores the idea of memory and how much our personalities and our identities are formed by our own memories and our own experiences. All of these complicated ethical questions are packaged in the book in the form of a breakneck thriller. There's romance, there's evil corporations, there's betrayals, there's monster crabs, and some pretty shocking twists. The Erasure Initiative is basically speed meets the good place, except nobody is dead and Keanu Reeves isn't there. I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoy it.